Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews, folks. Uh, this will be my last video of the day. Uh, if you want to know why that is, you gotta go to my previous video where I am, or where I explained why I am only going to be doing one or two videos a day, which has been pretty normal considering all the things going on in the world. And whatnot, I am no longer going to use the phrase of the thing that is going on. I'm sorry for tiptoeing towing around it, but apparently channels are getting less traffic if you discuss it. So or name it or whatever. So we're not going to name it. Anywho, um the novel author for the novel of Rise of Skywalker, Ray Carson, proves Lucasfilm is hiring people who don't know Star Wars. We got this from Bounding Into Comics from John Trent. Star Wars novelist Ray Carson recently continued to prove the theory that Lucasfilm is hiring people who don't know Star Wars. Carson, who was the author of Rise of Skywalker, novelization, Most Wanted, and the short stories, Hear nothing, see nothing, say nothing, and the red one took to Twitter to reveal a Star Wars moment that brought her unqualified, uncontained joy. She wrote, I desperately wanted to see a girl Jedi on the big screen. So, in The Force Awakens, when the lightsaber whips past Kylo's hand and to land in Rey's instead, I still get weepy thinking about it. I waited 40 years for that moment. So if you actually paid attention, you would have realized that you need to o need only wait 32 years. Now, I pointed this out several times, folks. I actually I actually did go to Twitter to uh respond to her and whatnot, but I, or that's another day. Now, while choosing that moment is all well and good, the issue comes with Carson implying that there are, had not been any girl Jedi on the big screen before Ray, who is unequip, this is unequivocally false. There have been plenty of girl Jedi in Star Wars on the big screen with many of them serving on the Jedi Council. Fans were quick to point out the girl Jedi seen on the big screen. You forgot Yaddle. Hi! They're showing pictures of Stas Ali, Adi Galia, Shakti, Depa Balaba, Yaddle. Uh, it's like, wow, Luminara Unduli, Ayla Sakura, Boltar Swan. It's like, wow. Now, Carson would be unsatisfied with fans informing her that these characters of these characters and decided to change her argument. Jesus! All these dudes in my mentions pointing out the female Jedi in the prequel trilogy who have no real roles and die horribly. Mm hmm. I guess I should have been happy with some quick cameos. I think, or I mean, that's all we women deserve. Am I right? Oh. However, this argument doesn't really work either. Clone Wars was released in theaters. This is where something I pointed out. August 10th, 2008, the film introduced audiences to Anakin Skywalker's apprentice, Ahsoka Tano, as well as Count Dooku's Sith apprentice, Asaz Ventress. Actually, Ventress was introduced back in 2004-2005 during the Clone Wars cartoon. But yeah. But Movie-wise, big screen was 2008. Anakin and Ahsoka team up to defend the planet Christophsis from the Separatist invasion. After succeeding in def defending the planet, the two are called to rescue Jabba the Hutt's son Rata, or Rota, who has been kidnapped and taken to the planet Teth. Um, not only does her argument about female Jedi not work, but she also got called out for assuming that everyone refuted her argument was a dude. Stephanie, or Stephanie my, from My Nerdy Home, replied to her, Yeah, I'm not a man. Uh, another one, AFK Bard, I'm not a dude, get over your narrative. 
Carson's comments are the latest in a string of people who Lucasfilm have hired that show they don't really have an understanding about Star Wars. Earlier this month, there was the High Republic writer Ka Kevin Scott exposed his utter lack of Star Wars knowledge when he attempted to make sense of the Rise of Skywalker novelizations, revelations that Rey's father is a clone of Emperor Palpatine. Before Scott, Star Wars story group member Matt Martin attempted to explain the idea of force healing. However, maybe the biggest revelation came from the last direct Jedi director, Ryan Johnson, who admitted he didn't care about Star Wars canon and history. These are all verified, folks. These are all stories that are verified fact and easy to find if you know where to look. So do your research. It's very easy to do. All you have to do is just type on a keyboard. Now, really, um, it's becoming quite the pattern of people hired by Lucasfilm that are admitting they don't really know much about Star Wars, and I think that's more shocking, or that's the more shocking the part. These people are openly admitting their ignorance and flaunting it for everyone to see. It's almost as if they want you to know that they are actively destroying Star Wars and want to rub your faces in it. What do you make of Carson's recent comments to this continuing pattern from Lucasfilm hires? And like I said, folks, Ray Carson, I was very polite in my tweet. I'm like, ma'am, respectively, there was a lead character Jedi back in the 2008 film The Clone Wars. Her name was Ahsoka Tano. She starred as a female lead Jedi girl. And that movie grossed around $70 million worldwide. So yeah, this woman, I am going to read that book so I can tear it apart. But uh, I am going to also continue to call out Disney's utter lack of respect for Star Wars as often as I can. Because I am totally sick of how Star Wars has been treated by Disney. I want it to go back to the dynamic of respect that Lucas gave his baby. Anyway, folks, that is the video. Y'all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Let me know down in the comments below what you all think of this author's and many of these other idiots who have proven that just because they work for Lucasfilm doesn't mean they automatically know a lot about Star Wars. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below, folks. Also, if you are new to the channel, pay or keep your calendars clear for Friday night this week, as we are going to be, or me and a panel are going to be discussing Joker versus Bullseye. I am doing a versus series every other to maybe once, every other week to maybe once a month or twice a month. Anyway, folks, keep your calendars open it will be friday night at 9 p.m let me know or for any of you guys who are regulars to my channel let me know if you want to be on that panel right now there's two open spots or three open spots that are open open two of them are possibles but there is still one definite open spot two spots are already filled by mary jade and the ambassador so let me know all your thoughts and whatnot let me know if you're interested this has been our chat reviews Catch y'all on the next one.